Hey YouTubers, today I got my second Williams passenger set and my first unboxing video, a Pennsylvania Railroad Congressional passenger car train set. So let's open up the boxes and see what we have inside. Our first box here has the five 72 foot scale passenger cars. This box feels rather light. It doesn't feel that heavy, so I'm guessing that these cars must be made of plastic, unlike the 60 foot cars where they're made of uh, aluminum. So either way, I'm still expecting that this is going to look like a nice set. Okay, so yes, these cars are plastic. They are uh, nice and light, 72 foot scale streamliners. Uh, they're nice and cozy here in their uh, foam homes uh, inside, of, uh, inside of their box. And the features, yep, highly detailed ABS plastic, operates an 042 track, die cast couplers, all lettering and Harold's tampo printed. They're not decals. Uh, I look kind of like that. All metal trucks, needle pointed axles, oil impregnated journal bushings, and fully illuminated. So nice. So the car does look nice here sitting in the box, so I think it's going to look great on the track. It's a nice looking set so far, but can we make the train even longer? This box right behind me is the two add-on passenger cars, so let's open those up. So now we have a nice long seven passenger car set here sitting on the tracks just waiting to go. Now how long do you think a passenger car train uh, should be? You know, can you make them too long? I don't know. How about we add one more car? So what locomotive can we run with this set that would be appropriate? Well, I think we all have an idea of what it's going to be. A Tuscan Red Williams GG1. And I'll say this is a very nice looking locomotive. It's a beautiful looking in, uh, piece of art here. Uh, the color is great, the detail is awesome. I mean, Williams did a nice job on this. Underneath, yeah, all metal gears if you can see it well enough. Uh, the front trucks here, uh, each of these wheels spin independently from each other so they're not all spinning on one axle. So it'll adjust the speed for each wheel when it goes around the turns. So we're going to give this a little grease on the uh, gears and, let, and uh, let's get this train going.
So the Williams Passenger Congressional Train Set is a nice addition to my train collection. Even though my cars are plastic and not aluminum, they do look good. Especially the GG1. The Tuscan red color is my favorite color for that locomotive, and the locomotive itself is one of my personal favorites. Williams did a nice job on detailing it, and I think it's a great product. I mean, if you shop around, you know, for deals and stuff, you can get these trains fairly affordable, and you can build on to your train collection. Now, the uh, horn for the uh, GG1, it's all right. I mean, I think that it can be approved upon. It doesn't sound like a real GG1, but I think that, that this Titanic plushie does. Yeah, I'll just take the sound card out of this and put in my locomotive. I mean, other than that, though, the uh, GG1, it runs very smooth. It is very quiet with its uh, two DC can motors. I just had to put a little grease on the gears so that uh, just for preventative maintenance and the front and rear truck wheels, they do spin independently on the axles. Uh, as far as pulling force goes, it takes about three quarters of a pound on my fish scale to get the train started slowly and maintains about a half a pound of pulling force to keep the train in motion. So everybody, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time around.